guys, this is my review on the 2014 Godzilla. So I'm going to do this, uh, Kong Skull Island and Godzilla King of the Monsters. So it's come out in 2014, like I said, uh, it's two hours and three minutes long. And the main cast, Elizabeth Olsen, Aaron Johnson, Ken Wadamy and Brian Cranston. So uh, obviously Godzilla, everyone knows, originally come from Japan. Uh, it's just now it's been like had millions put into it. Uh, and just become like incredible start of this monster verse that's now being created. Um, I I love these films. I've seen each of these like two, three times each, uh, and it all starts with obviously Godzilla. And this is where you start seeing the scale of these creatures and how powerful and strong they are. Uh, and there's not much we can do throughout the whole. Like there's so many times in the film where we're like nailing it with bombs, missiles. Yeah, gunfire. You know, he doesn't even phase yeah, Godzilla. So it's really like it's really like nice to see how insignificant we are uh, when Mother Nature throws out its big primals. Okay, so the whole the whole premise of this is uh, there's like a discovery. Uh, there's a discovery of like this like so sort of big ass skeleton, which is looks like an old Godzilla skeleton. Uh, so obviously he's not the first. And there's a couple, like, they call them parasites, uh, which are these uh, other giant creatures, which are the mutos, massively unidentified ter terrestrial organism. I think that's how what it is. Uh, massively unidentified terrestrial organism. Yeah, that's what, that's what mutos is. Uh, and, you know, it's it just looks really nice. You can tell, put a lot of effort into the CGI quality. And you get all the expressions on Godzilla's face when he's like angry or you know he's calm and that. You so you get like close ups, so these nice slow sort of shots uh, when things are happening. And so like you see, he's not just a mindless lizard. Uh, he's created to be kind of like you know he's very intelligent. He's thinking about things. You, the more you see seeing him, the more you're like, okay, this is a, a thinking creature. You know he's got compassion uh, and he's not just on a rampage to destroy things, you know, and you start realizing, yeah, he is the good guy in, in kind of a way, you know, as good as some, you know, 300 foot un, un, indestructible monster can be. Uh, but uh, Godzilla is basically a protector of the earth, which is radioactive as hell. Um, we, obviously, he has his epic beam cannon, uh, which is uh, some of the best clips in the film. There's certain points where he's fighting and all of a sudden you just so hear the classic and you sort of see the blue gamma being built up around his tail and then, and then he just fires his beam and that and it just looks amazing the sound the sound in this film is really good like all the audio is done so well for the atmosphere built up um again like i say the cgi quality uh, is just the beginning of these and it's straight away is so nice um, obviously, Brian Cranston's his part in it is good, and it, spoilers, yeah, it's super annoying that he does die early because everyone really likes Brian Cranston, and obviously people probably thought this guy's in it. He ain't going nowhere. He's going to be like the main protagonist, uh, and it is a shame he goes. So that's the only disappointment, like disappointing thing in this film is uh, the la the the loss of him. Obviously, people's complaints with these films well this film is there's too much humans not enough monsters uh but yeah they try and like establish a lot of people's care and thought on people where people don't really care about the 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 people on the screen kind of thing you come to a godzilla film you want like godzilla i think in total there's like eight to nine minutes of godzilla screen time maybe like maybe a bit more i mean underestimating that it's probably about probably about 15 minutes of Godzilla screen time or something like that so obviously that's not super great but in terms of like the, what a, what a film about the start of like this monster verse it's it's a really nice film to watch it's, it's just got a lot of great scenes uh you know some real good fights when obviously they get going in the city the city doesn't stand a chance um and it's just like I don't know. It's it is a good film. It's, I think it's quite underrated. A lot of people don't super like like it. 
Uh, but I think it's like the cine- like some of the just the shots, the angles, how they've done the visuals with all the smoke and that. Sometimes you just see his tail like whipping, or you just sort of see his sort of face, or when he's about to roar and that. Uh, it's just a lot of a lot of real good cinematography uh, and and shots have been taken, and just those alone, it's just worth watching for. You'd be like, you know, this is this is actually really cool. Uh, but yeah, that's my quick thoughts on uh, Godzilla. All right, but yeah, so I'll be doing Kong Skull Island next. Okay, so like, comment, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.